Okay, first of all, welcome to my channel today. Uh, we are going to be building a poiki pot. Uh, when I say we, William will be boiling, uh, building it and we'll be recording it the whole day. Um, first thing is we need to make the fire. William busy lighting the fire. Welcome to a grumpy old man. Today, as you can see, I'm building a poiki pot and I just would like to say thank you to everyone. I've got about 28 subscribers at the moment. I've got just over 8,000 views uh, and I've been running for 20 days. Um, thanks to everyone that's watched my video and we're just going to have fun with this channel. All right, William, time to start building the pot. Add a bit of oil into the pot. Keep throwing, keep throwing, keep throwing, keep throwing. Okay, it's about enough. Right. Now we wait for the oil to get a little bit hot. Okay, now take the bowl of onion. Empty it into the pot. All of it. Okay. Take the spoon and start giving it a bit of a stir. We need those golden, those onions golden brown. Oh, those onions are sizzling nicely now. Nice. Stir them around. It's so yeah, it's warm. You've got to figure it out. Ah, let Dad cheat with the club. Okay, now to uh, add the pork. William, are you ready? Yeah. Stir it in, my boy. Stir it in. That pork needs to get nice and brown now. Okay, stir it around. Mix it up. Got to get that pork nice and brown. Now time to put the chicken in. Two half chickens. Into the pot we go. With its marinade. The next one. Into the pot it goes with this marinade. Now give it a stir. Give it a stir. Uh. Let me help you a bit. Oof. Now we let that go for a little bit. Okay, stir it around. Mix it up. Got to get that pork nice and brown. Now time to put the chicken in. Two half chickens. Into the pot we go. With its marinade. The next one. Into the pot it goes with this marinade. Now give it a stir. Give it a stir. Uh. Let me help you a bit. Oof. Now we let that go for a little bit. Okay, let's see how it's doing. Give it a stir, William. I put a rosemary stick in there, just to give some nice flavor. Let's give it a stir. Okay, let's give that a couple more minutes. Okay, time to add the next layer. So as we can see, sorry, everything's going very good. William, please add the tomatoes. Quickly. 
at the Millies, at the Carrots. Now Millies and Carrots need a long time to cook. Tomatoes, I want them to start softening up and become part of the juice now. Now we cover that up and we leave it for an hour or so. Oh, that's looking good. Now this is something I've never done to a poiki pot and that's add beetroot. As we all know, beetroot needs a long time to cook. So I think we need to get them down to the bottom. So we've got a lot of ingredients coming. How to get a fire hot again. Time for the green beans. On the top. Oh, missing one. Don't worry. I'll grab them later for myself. Papa. Time for mushrooms. Let's add them, William. In the middle. Oh, it's very, very full at the moment. In the middle. Yeah. Sorry. Let's put the lid on. Ugh. And let it be for the next 20 minutes. Now to incorporate the secret ingredient. Now everyone in South Africa that makes a poiki pot knows about this stuff. I know you've been seeing two the whole time. The second one is when the cabbage gets added. This one needs to carry on with what's in here now. Now the next step is patty pans, marrows and baby squash. Putting them in whole. We don't want them to dissolve and become mush. Right. Pack them in nicely. Oh, beautiful. Now we take a glass of water. We add it to the brew. I think we might need a little bit more water. Check on you, Nana. Oh, it's looking good. Putting the cabbage on. Now that we've got a layer of cabbage over it, now we let it sit. Bring the lid, William. Take the stick out. There we go. It'll seep out the bottom, it'll all settle, and it'll become beautiful. Get this side. Come this side. Yep. Ready? Stop. Start. It is done. Whole day's cooking. Oh, this looks beautiful. 
please like and subscribe.